Hello everyone! Thanks for reading with us this week. It's been really lovely to see your thoughts on the Padlet. Now, I think we're lucky today. We might have got one little cat to join our story. I don't know if you can see her. Who's over here? Boba. Did you like all of their ideas on how to keep your paws clean? Shall we show them your paws and see? They're still a little bit dirty, aren't they, Boba? Deary me. I don't think they'll ever be clean pawed. Now today, we're going to share a story called The Great Goat Chase. I'd like to own some goats so they could mow the lawn for me. Mr. Farmer had a field and in this field, he decided to grow turnips. We've been thinking about turnips a bit, haven't we? So he ploughed the field and sowed the seed in long, neat rows up and down, up and down, until the whole field was done. The seeds grew and grew and soon every row was filled with huge, plump turnips. We were saying at school, we're not sure if we've had a turnip before. I think I might have had one a long, long time ago. Miss Anna thinks she was the only one who had had a turnip. And she said that the Philippines turnips are the best. I wonder if you could pop on the Padlet whether you've had a turnip. I'd like to see what they taste like. Do you think we should try one? Now, Mr. Farmer, had three goats. One, two, three, which he milked every morning. But one day, Mr. Farmer left the gate open and the goat slipped through it, tripped down the road and right into the turnip fields. They could hardly believe their good fortune. Straight away, they began to chomp the turnips, row after row after row. All that hard work from Mr. Farmer, and these goats are just chomping them all. Mr. Farmer, who was having a late morning cup of tea, looked out of his kitchen window and saw those goats gobbling up his turnips. Oh no, he wailed, running out of the door, spilling tea everywhere. Mr. Farmer then tried to chase the goats out of the field. But those goats had minds of their own. One ran this way, one ran that way, and the third ran another. Could Mr. Farmer get those goats out of the turnip field? No, he couldn't. <sighs> those pesky goats, I know, said Mr. Farmer. I'll get Dog. He gave a loud whistle and Dog came running. He rushed into the field and tried to herd the goats. But Dog was a sheep dog and these were goats. One went this way, one went that way, and the third went another round and round the field until dog was exhausted could dog get those goats out of the turnip field no he couldn't <sighs> whereas mr farmer and dog stood at the gate wondering what to do horse stuck his head over the fence what's the matter he asked are those silly goats too fast for you Probably, said Mr. Farmer wearily. Never mind, I've got some good long legs, said Horse. I'll soon have them out of the turnip field. I think Horse might be able to fix it. Horse jumped the fence and raced up the field, sending turnips flying. Now, Horse was bigger and faster than the goats, but they could turn much more easily. One turn this way, one turn the other way, and one turn that way. Could horse get those goats out of the turnip field? No, he couldn't. So Mr. Farmer couldn't, dog couldn't, and now horse can't. As horse sat down beside Mr. Farmer and dog, cow came up to them. Let me show you how it's done, she said. My big horns will soon send them on her all their way. And so they did. One goat went scampering this way, one goat went scampering that way, and one goat went scampering another. Every way but the right way. Could Cow get those goats out of the turnip field? No, she couldn't. 
Now Pig, who had been grinning at the efforts of his friends, decided to show them how it was done. It's time to get tough, he said. Show them a bit of muscle. Pig pumped up his great shoulders and trotted to the turnip field. Then he dropped his head and charged with all his might. One goat nimbly tripped this way, one goat nimbly tripped that way, and the third nimbly tripped another. Could Pig frighten the goats out of the turnip fields? No, he couldn't. That's one Mr Farmer, two dog, three horse, four cow and five pig. Five people have not been, or five animals, have not been able to get these goats out. Mr Farmer, dog, horse, cow and pig all sat down and cried their eyes out. <laughs> they held just then. Busy bee came buzzing by. What's the matter? She asked. When they told her, she said, I'll get those goats off the turnip field. You? They exclaimed. You? A teeny weeny tiny whiny totty wotty wee wee bee? Yes, me, she said. Mr. Farmer, dog, horse, cow, and pig all stopped crying and began laughing and laughing until they were flat on their backs, legs in the air, hysterical. When they had finished splitting their sides, little busy bee said, Can I go and get the goats out of the turnip field now? All right, <laughs> off you go, they said, drying their eyes. They don't think she can do it because she's small. Does being small mean that you can't do as much as people who are bigger? Hmm. I don't think that's right. Little Busy Bee flew into the turnip field. She buzzed round and round and round the goat's heads. And then she said, If you don't leave the field right now, I'll sting your bottoms. Could Little Busy Bee get those goats out of the turnip fields? What do you think? Yes, she could. The goats didn't need a second telling. As fast as their little hooves could carry them, they were off out of the gate, up the road and onto the hillside. At the gate, Mr Farmer, dog, horse, cow and pig all stood feeling very silly. Sorry, little busy bee, they said humbly. And they all agreed that sometimes little folk can do things much better than big folk. And the goats are back in their field. Wow, what a funny story. But I think Little Buzzy Bee was right, wasn't she? But no matter how small you are, or how much stronger that other people may seem, or how people might laugh if you say, I'm going to do that, I'm going to have a go. And they might say, you can't do that, you're too small. Or you're not grown up enough or you just can't you're not very good we don't want to listen to those people do we we want to make sure that we're listening to ourselves and we know that we don't say we can't ever do we we say we can't do it yet so maybe we need to get a little bit more grown up before we can do it or maybe we can be more helpful than anyone ever thinks I know you guys are very helpful and it's been so lovely seeing that you're reading along with our stories and hopefully we can all see each other soon because I miss you lots and lots. So have a lovely weekend and I hope the weather gets a little bit better. Would you like to say goodbye to Boba sleeping before we go? I think she enjoyed our stories so much that she went to sleep. Bye bye beach cast. Bye.